GNEC Top Plays begins in Anchorage, where Kayla McLathery is showing that time away from the court has done little to slow her down. Returning to the game after a four-year absence, the junior middle blocker was named GNAC Offensive Player of the Week for her 23 kills, 7 blocks, and 487 hitting percentage and wins over Central Washington and Northwest Nazarene. Glathery came up with 12 kills and 3 blocks in a 3-set sweep of the Wildcats and then added 11 kills and 4 blocks while hitting 529 against the Nighthawks. The Seawolves finished the homestand with a 5-1 conference mark. Western Oregon football hosting Simon Fraser and trying to move to 3-0 in conference play. The Wolves led 13-0 in the second quarter when Ty Curry finds Jaron Ford for the 15-yard touchdown pass. Early third quarter, a great read by Jalen Parnell as he intercepts it and follows the 17-yard return. Four plays later, Tyler Reed sends in this 47-yard touchdown pass to Shaw Jerome to make it a 27-0 Western Edge. Seven minutes later, Curry puts one out by Land, Omari Land that is, who goes 90 yards to pay dirt. Wolves roll over their northern neighbors 51-14. From the gridiron to the pitch, where the Western Oregon women continued their hot start. 51st minute, Isabel Creighton with the long run on the near sideline, the save shot, and Alyssa Tomasini in the right spot for the rebound and the goal. Three minutes later, the set piece provides some insurance. The throw in from Nikki Hoey, the header flick from Tomasini to Creighton for the goal. Wolves with their first win since 2002 over the Falcons, 2 0. Central Washington women hosting St. Martin's. Sends it across, Bradley, save Campagato, Bradley scores! Bella Brown in again, pressure on from behind, she's gonna look for support, she's got low on the outside, Lindquist giving pressure, sent into the middle, it's gonna bound in, Fogel scores! Caleb Dunlop with the call, as the Wildcats blank the Saints, 2-0. In Bellingham, it was a historic day for the Viking Zoe Milburn. She opened scoring in the seventh minute against Montana State Billings with this rebound. Fast forward now to the 25th, and Zoe finds herself in the right place at the right time for Mackenzie Burke's pass and a 2-0 Vikings lead. The lead was 4-0 in the 73rd, and Milburn wasn't done. She rolls around the keeper to make it a hat trick, but that wasn't all. Milburn with the run through the box again, and she ties the GNAC single match record with her fourth goal. Vikings roll to the 8-0 shutout of the Yellow Jackets. Western Washington men's soccer in the Emerald City taking on Seattle Pacific. Water, low cross in, and that one's gotten beyond Marwood less than a minute in. Western Washington, Western. it's Eldridge. Inside for Kolova, he's found him, Kolova inside the six, a sliding challenge, gets the ball away, still loose, Espinosa gets beyond Marwood, tipped into the goal, Ryan Schaefer. Stamness, Stamness, rounds his man, header in for Tomasi, that's 3-1. Andrew Harvey on the call as the Vikings get past the Falcons by that 3-1 final. Two nights later, it was Nick Morgan providing a cardiac moment for the Vikings against St. Martins. Western behind 1-0 with time running down, and watch it all develop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Morgan with the game tying header with one second left as the Vikings escape with the 1 1 tie. Two nights earlier, the Saints showed off some great ball movement at nationally ranked Simon Fraser. After some tight passing near midfield, Brandon Madsen finally moves down and finds Jason Fairhurst for the goal to put the Saints on the board. Clank countered on the set piece in the 64th, with Connor Glennon scoring his second goal of the game off the header. Simon Fraser, 5-1 winners. The Clan and Saints squared off in women's action earlier in the day. Juliana Zarini scored both goals, including this game winner in the fifth minute. Simon Fraser, 2-0 over the Saints. Finally on GNAC top plays, Montana State Billings at Northwest Nazarene, and the Yellow Jackets flashing the defense. The Nighthawks charge hard, only to be denied by goalkeeper Jesse Martin, and the defense finally clears the ball to keep things knotted at zero. That followed with this nice escape from the defensive quarter, the Yellow Jackets turn on the offense, eventually scoring 50 seconds for the 1-0 win in Nampa. That's it for GNAC top plays, I'm Blake Tim, we'll see you next time.